Hey, speaking of the touring and the good old days and, and everything, let's get into, if you don't mind, a little bit. I know you can't get into every little detail, but I mean, we're talking about the, the debauchery of drinking and stuff. Do you think, do you think that led was, was a part of your departure with Bullet? Do you, I mean, Moose, uh, when he was on the show, told some stories about, about his departure. Um, and then you were pretty short. Moose was gone first, right? And then you were shortly after, if I'm not mistaken. Or was no, it? it was me first. It was you first, okay. Can you talk a little bit about yeah. that? You don't have to go. I know there's still uh, things you can't discuss for legal and other reasons, but if, there, if you could tell part of your side of the story of, of your departure from Bullet, we'd really appreciate it. Um, yeah, it is tough. <clears throat> it is tough to talk about, to be honest. I'm anyway. sure, yeah. Yeah, about all the little bits that happen, um, you know, all I can say is, you know, everybody was partying. Yeah. Everybody was having a drink and everybody liked to have a drink. Um, my real problem started with alcohol. I mean, <laughs> okay, I was pretty, I was, I was a pretty big drinker and I'd hold my hand up to some of the troubles that I caused the band or caused myself, you know, um, absolutely. But, um, you know, a lot of what I was doing, you know, other people were doing. You know, um, I think my real troubles came with alcohol and everything else was afterwards when the realization set in of everything, you know, I couldn't quite cope with. Um, yeah. I mean, all I can speak from is my side of everything, you know, Absolutely. Um, and, you know, how I, I might have affected and what maybe I caused or whatever, you know. But, yeah, let's, I'll hold my hand up to there was times where. Um, you know, I was a handful. There was times where other people were a handful. I mean, mm-hmm. rock and roll band. It's like stuff happens, you know. Um, but like, yeah, like I said earlier on, you know, I wasn't doing what other people wasn't doing, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, I think my problem, bigger problems with alcohol um, and other things came, I think, after my departure. And I, I think that was from kind of the loss uh, that I felt because they were family um, and that hurt me. So I kind of I kind of wanted to hide from reality. Um, and then, you know, I was a pretty big drinker anyway um, yeah. during the band days, but that increased double. Um, yeah, I mean, you're, yeah, you're, you're filling a void. You're, t- you're filling a void. You have a probably, I mean, I don't want to speak for you, but I would imagine – uh, a real, real hit on the on the old self esteem. Uh, a lot of figuring out who who you are, uh, as you said, uh, just a loss of 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 a big part of your life and a brotherhood that you had, yeah. had created with them. How many, you were with you were with uh, you were at the band for how many years? I think, think um, since like two thousand and two thousand two thousand and one because um, we were jamming before we actually got signed. Um, so yeah, quite a long time, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it was it was real <clears throat> pull on the hold up, old heartstrings. You know, I've I've known most the longest in my life out of anybody. I've known most since I was three years old. I can remember um, meeting him in like the smallest school, the one you first start. Like, yeah, so I've been friends with him yeah. since then, you know. <clears throat> and then the other guys I met in my teens and stuff. So I've known him all my life, you know. So um, I think when all that happened. Um, I usually explain to people like, you know, say on a Thursday, um, it kind of happened and I found out um, and it was a shock, you know, and I didn't want Monday to come. Then the the metaphor is I didn't want Monday to come because it was too much to deal with. So I thought I'll just get fucked up for now and I'll deal with all of that on Monday. Right. You know, but Monday didn't come for four months. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. It wasn't that so Monday. This how, yeah. Yeah. This is k- kind of how I explain it, you know, and um, I just kept on hiding behind the alcohol in my house, which is what happened to me because um, mm-hmm. I didn't know what to do. Um, I was so all I'd done for the last 10, 12 years was play guitar on stage, tour, management, all that kind of stuff. And then suddenly there was I felt like there was nothing. I didn't know what to do. I got to ask one there more thing no- about the departure, though, before we move on. And you could feel free to to just fuck off this conversation or whatever. But uh, <laughs> it, it was there ever like an, an official reason given to you? I know Moose 
never felt he got an official reason why he was <laughs> excommunicated from the band when, when his departure happened. Did you ever, was yours a little bit more formal? Um, there was a meeting um, that I had to attend um, and they talked about it and there was a, a, a lot of that stuff mentioned, you know, the drinking and everything. Um, um, but I think the decision was already made. Um, I was kind of told, mm -hmm. you know, that, that this is happening. Um, but like, yeah. Well, I know Moose kind of... Moose. Yeah. Well, I'm just asking if there was like more of like a formal, more, more of like a formal, like saying like these, this is the exact reason why this is a moment that we're, that we're using or not using, but uh, to showcase an incident or anything like that, or there was an exact reason why was it just the drinking and partying? Was there something that you were told uh, was, was a, was a highlighted reason uh, for. It was for mostly, yeah, yeah. Like um, partying and, several different occasions were you unable to uh, perform on stage at a point or anything like that there was debauchery happening um and the parties that were going on with within us all really and i think i was singled out for a few things that i'd done here and there okay know? um and i think that there were statements re released then by them <clears throat> um i guess but i've never really released anything to say what happened, you know, I, I think this this is the first time I've ever talked about it. Yeah. Um, you know, but I think it's quite hard to talk freely and open about it, you know, um, for legal reasons, like you said earlier on. But um, yeah, are those are those legal reasons still? Uh, you, we don't need to go again. I'm not trying to get get a fucking headline out of you here, here, Jay. You know, I mean, you go back way too long for that fucking bullshit. But I just want to I just want to understand from my from my perspective a little bit more when um, when all this is going down when you know I know Moose said that he wasn't really keen on it you know he wasn't really happy about it and then shortly after he would be gone um, when you say like the legal stuff is there is that is that ongoing I guess is what I'm saying is that is that still an ongoing thing have you are you able to to talk to Matt and pa and Padge are have you are are you in communication at all with Matt and Padge? I guess it's not an ongoing thing anymore. Um, it was for a long time, mm -hmm. for years, years and years and years, John. Um, it wasn't until this year that it stopped. Um, but communication with Matt and Padge, no, <clears throat> there hasn't been really. Um, would you be like open you said, to it? Is something that you would be open to, like now that you've moved on and stuff, or or is that wound still pretty deep and? Maybe something you'd never, you, I mean, no, no one ever, never say never, but is it something that you're just not ready for yet at this point? Um, there just hasn't been any communication um, okay. since, since the departure and not really any attempts to really, do you know? Yeah, yeah, um, I gotcha.